Hey everyone, still manually updating Google Sheets and creating invoices for orders received through email? Well, this tutorial shows you how to fully automate this process, saving you valuable time that you can use to focus on other aspects of your online business. Sounds good? Alright, but before we begin, you'll need to have a Google and Zero account with all connections added, a Google Sheet with all the relevant headers created, and an understanding of regular expressions and mail hooks. The scenario begins with the webhook's custom mailhook module. After adding the mailhook, copy the mailhook URL and go over to the settings in Gmail. Under forwarding and pop slash IMAP, click add a forwarding address. Paste the mailhook and run the scenario. Also click forward a copy of incoming mail to that will appear once the connection is successful. Next is the text parser match pattern module, which is used to pass the text received from the email. The pattern field here requires a regular expression. Reg 101 is a useful site that you can use to create regular expressions. In the text parser module, tick the global match and multi-line boxes. Next, map the text element outputted by the webhooks custom mailhook module to the text field. The route between the webhook's custom mailhook and the text parser match pattern modules contains a simple filter. The purpose of the filter is to verify if the subject line of the email contains the word order for it to pass through to the subsequent modules. So map the subject element outputted by the webhook's custom mailhook module in the upper field. Now select the contains case insensitive text operator and type the word order in the field below. Following the text parser module is the Google Sheets add a row module that adds all orders received to the sheet. You need to select the spreadsheet as well as the specific sheet in the spreadsheet. It's important to note that the rejects pattern in the text parser module will differ from user to user. The rejects expression used here is purely for demonstration purposes due to the specific email text passed. This means that the data contained in the elements outputted by the text parser will vary and will need to be mapped accordingly. You need to map the elements outputted by the text parser module to the relevant fields in the Google Sheets module. To display the date in the specific format on the sheet, add the format date function found under the date and time tab in the date field here. Next, map the date element outputted by the webhook's custom mailhook module within the brackets and enter the relevant tokens for date time formatting. I'll leave a link in the description to the tokens for date and time. Let's take a look at the Zero search for contacts module that performs a search for the contact in Zero using the customer's name. You need to select the organization and under search by, select field. In the filter setting, select name, the equals to text operator and map the element that contains a customer name outputted by the text parser module. Next is a router that splits the scenario into two routes. The top route between the router and the zero creator contact module contains a simple filter. The purpose of this filter is to verify if the contact ID does not already exist in zero. A new customer will not have a contact ID Therefore, the bundle will meet the filters criteria and pass through the subsequent module before the contact will be created. Here, map the contact ID element outputted by the zero search for contacts module to the condition field and select the does not exist operator. So if the contact does not exist, you will need to create the new contact using the zero create a contact module. Now to configure this module, simply select the organization and map the element containing the customer name outputted by the text parser module to the name field. The last module on the top route is a zero create an invoice module. To create the invoice, select the organization and select the a sales invoice commonly known as an accounts receivable option under type. Now map the contact ID element outputted by the zero create a contact module to the contact ID field. Next, click the edit icon under line items and map the subject element from the webhooks custom mailhooks module to the description field. In the quantity, unit amount and item fields, map the elements from the text parser that contain the relevant data. 
The bottom route between the router and the second zero create an invoice module also contains a simple filter. Here, the purpose of the filter is to verify if the contact ID exists. If the contact already exists, the bundle will meet the filter's criteria and pass through to the subsequent module to create the invoice. You need to map the contact ID element the same as the previous filter, but this time select the exists operator. The configuration of the second zero create an invoice module is similar to the first module of the same name on the top route. This time around, map the contact ID outputted by the zero search for contacts module. The scenario has been fully configured and an email order has been received. And there you go. I hope you found this tutorial useful and will implement it soon. Happy automating.